Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you've been TV shopping recently, you've probably run into the terms OLED, QLED and even Mini LED. It's a lot to unpack. So which one is the best? Today we're comparing two of the biggest players, OLED and QLED. We're breaking down what makes them different, why you'd want one over the other and even touching on newer variations like QD OLED and Neo QLED. Let's dive in and see which TV technology might be the best fit for you. Let's start with OLED. OLED or organic light emitting diode is unique because every pixel lights up individually. This means that when you see black on an OLED, it's truly black. Those pixels are literally turned off. LG Display supplies all the OLED panels you see in TVs from brands like Panasonic, Sony and Philips. But here's where it gets interesting. Samsung's QD OLED takes it a step further by adding quantum dots, which allow for even more vibrant colors and higher brightness. Think of QD OLED as OLED with an extra pop, bringing colors to life without sacrificing that famous OLED black. Now let's talk QLED. QLED stands for Quantum Dot Light Emitting Diode. Unlike OLED, QLEDs don't emit their own light. Instead, they rely on a backlight with tiny LEDs, which is why you'll sometimes see the term Mini LED or Neo QLED. QLED TVs use quantum dots in a layer over the backlight to enhance colors and brightness. Samsung pioneered this technology, but you'll also see it in TVs from brands like Hisense, Sony, TCL and LG. So QLED's backlight means it can get extremely bright, making it ideal for well-lit rooms or for those who want intense HDR performance. Samsung's Neo QLED, for example, uses a mini LED backlight with even smaller LEDs and more control zones, helping it achieve impressive brightness and contrast levels. And rumor has it that self-emitting QLED technology is on the horizon, which might make QLED even closer to OLED's pixel-by-pixel -pixel control. Alright, so why choose OLED? First and foremost, it's all about contrast. OLED's pixel by pixel control gives you perfect black levels and an infinite contrast ratio. Unlike QLED, which can sometimes suffer from blooming, that halo effect around bright objects, OLED displays high contrast images with total clarity, even when a bright star is set against a pitch black sky. And OLED is fantastic for wide viewing angles, keeping colors and contrast consistent even from the side. If you're watching TV with family or friends from all around the living room, OLED's viewing angles mean everyone sees the same stunning picture. Gamers, this one's for you. OLED also has super fast response times. Each pixel responds almost instantly, which is perfect for fast paced action. So whether you're a serious gamer or just want the best image quality, OLED has you covered. Alright, so why would you pick QLED? The first big reason is brightness. QLEDs can reach much higher peak brightness than most OLEDs, making them better suited for bright rooms or sunny spaces. You'll especially notice the difference when watching HDR content, where QLED's intense brightness can make images look incredibly vivid. And here's another big plus, affordability. QLED technology generally comes at a lower price than OLED, which can be a huge factor if you're on a budget. You'll find QLED TVs at a wide range of prices and sizes. And if you're looking for a really large screen, like 85 inches QLED offers more options in those massive sizes without as big of a price jump. Now let's talk about a potential OLED drawback, burn-in. Since OLED uses organic materials, it's technically susceptible to burn-in, where static images might get burned into the screen over time. Manufacturers have worked hard to mitigate this with techniques like pixel shifting and auto dimming, and most users don't experience issues. But if you're someone who watches a lot of channels with constant logos, like news or sports, it's something to consider. QLED, on the other hand, isn't at risk for burn-in, so it could be the safer choice for certain use cases. Alright, so here's the bottom line. OLED and QLED both have their strengths, but it all depends on your viewing preferences. 
If you want perfect blacks, infinite contrast and a cinematic experience, OLED is tough to beat. On the other hand, if you need high brightness, a larger screen or a budget friendly option, QLED might be the way to go. Of course, technology keeps evolving. QD OLED, Neo QLED and even self-emissive QLED might reshape our options soon. So when it comes to finding the best TV, remember that panel technology is just part of the story. Processing power, features and your own viewing habits all play a role. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments which TV you're leaning towards. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tech deep dives. See you next time. Yep.